Happy Thanksgiving Guam and Mainland USA. Um, today we're going to learn how to make um, English, or in other words, Padani Salmon, or in other words, um, Pickled Salmon, I guess. H how would you call it? I'm not sure. But anyways, here we go. Uh, I wanted to show you guys the ingredients we're using today. Um, is some friolis or green beans. Also, um, some salmon here. Um, I use salmon belly because that's our authentic, uh, you know, uh, piece of meat there that we use. Um, however, you can use actually any salmon. And the reason why that they use um, salmon belly is because when you put any in and you mix it all together, it pretty much stays intact. As opposed to if you were to use, a, you know, um, salmon fillet or whatever, it might fall apart and become more like a crumble than, you know, how you really want it to be. I'm um, also going to use my own personal line of Donnie Nancy right here about a, a tablespoon of that, um, using half an onion, um, cut up, I'm using about um, one half a whole um, scallion or green onions in other words, I'm also using um, a whole batch of uh, cherry tomatoes or tomatis, I'm using a fusion of fresh cut lemon and a fusion uh, with um, fresh cut lime. Fusion, now, I like that. Okay, cool. <laughs> you know, for, it's not for fusion, it's actually <laughs> food fusion. But um, the reason why uh, I'm using a lemon, fresh lemon and um, and lime, is because in our, you know, in our, in our Antigua cooking, you know, they typically would fedeni the salmon or, you know, use the, make the, the juice for this um, granulis or this dish. Um, using lemoncina and unfortunately we don't have that here in, in the mainland. Um, I know that we have a, a shortage of it in Guam and all of you of my relatives in CNMI uh, know that we get lemoncina there so that's the reasoning for that. Um, the lime and the lemon pretty much makes a good combination for that. Also we don't have any lemon powder here. Anyhow, <laughs> so let's go. Um, I'm gonna um, just wash my hands really fast. I put soap already. John didn't get that. <laughs> um, and so, with my salmon, my salmon, uh, the first thing I want to do is I'm going to add some salt to this. I'm going to add about a tablespoon of salt. Okay, put that aside. Then the next additive I'm going to add is my onions. And then I'm going to add my tomatoes. And then I'm going to add my friolis, my green beans. And then I'm going to add my Doni de Nancy. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to grab this American style strainer. And I'm going to begin, begin to squeeze all the lemon. You want to use something like this if you don't have the traditional tomorrow strainer because you don't want the seeds to get in there and give it a bit better taste. You know? And um, that you don't want to happen. So, you know, you guys, this is a very simple dish to make. I know that it seems um, pretty, you know, um, strenuous to, to do, especially if you don't like to touch fish. But if you guys live in an area out here in the mainland that, you know, has a Philippine um, grocery market, or if you live in an area that has an Asian supermarket, you can actually request for the salmon belly to be chopped and prepared for you, um, as well as um, have it scaled for you. If you're from Guam, then you know you can get this. Um, go to the Fisherman's Co-op and check Manny Duenas. Manny Duenas will hook you up with some of that good stuff there. Um, otherwise, you can find it at Payless Supermarkets. And um, if you don't have the um, salmon belly, it's still going to be fine if you use salmon fillet or whatever kind of salmon that you have because, um, you know, the, the, the Chamorros, you know, in, in back in the day, they like to use salmon belly because, again, it keeps its texture and, and it keeps the salmon intact while you lack all those juices into it. And it just basically comes out a little bit better than if you were to use a fillet. Now... After I had uh, squeezed all my lime, my lemon, and um, and so forth, instead of blah 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 blah, um, I'm gonna stir and zalaka this this um, mixture, and then I'm gonna actually let it sit for a while. But before I even get into that, I'm gonna continue to squeeze the rest of my lime here, 
and you know it's pretty it's pretty amazing how powerful that Japanese uh, you know lemon powder that we've all become accustomed to is it, so strong you know it, it's rare you'll find lemon that will be able to you know provide that maximum taste or that sour taste that you know that you want so that's what we're doing here is we're improvising now nothing beats the lemon china if you have that and if you're from Saipan, Tinian or Lukta then you know more props to you because you can do that much better and all my Yiriang Guerrero and Santos Palaypay family over there can really you know speak to that however we're less fortunate here in the mainland so I added already a tablespoon of salt I'm going to add another teaspoon of salt and I am going to add my last ingredient which is which is going to be my green onions or as they say out here scallions <laughs> scallions anyhow see how that Dodi Nancy is right there that's like really the trick so I'm going to stir this on up Now you guys, this is this is not really an acquired taste. It's really how you mix it. Um, people don't like to eat raw fish or fish telegram, but you know I mean, put it this way: you eat sashimi, right? A lot of people like sashimi. People that won't touch any chicken on a bone or they won't touch anything, any kind of steak that's not cooked, they like to eat sashimi. This is um, the same thing. Only you know you can feel a lot more secure about eating this kind of food when you know just to know that the lemon will continue to cook this and, you know and this is not um, being made to serve right away I'm actually taking this by special request to my grandmother Lian Dong um, because she loves the way I make my good English and so that's what she wants for her Thanksgiving treat and then that's what I'm doing right now by popular demand by her <laughs> So anyhow, um, I'm going to continue to stir this, um, even as, as we um, knock this video off and cut it, um, you know, you'll see a picture, pretty much the same thing as you see right here, what I'm doing. Um, you'll see the finished product, and you know, it's something something pretty gracious and, and, and delightful to use for your Thanksgiving, you know, dishes. I hope you enjoyed the regional or the tomorrow stuffing yesterday, and my next dish, I promise you, uh, Teresa, I will get that going. The next video that I have, I will make my... Uh, masa crust and fry up some empanada and teach everybody how you can do that and once again um thank you all for tuning in supporting watching and and really you know playing and being a part of what we're all about and uh, i appreciate you you know you continue to support our endeavors to um, preserve the Chamorro culture and you know let's keep it coming i'll continue with the videos you continue watching and putting it to good use we'll eventually meet our uh, our goal to you know, as we as we continue to fight to preserve our culture and and our our cooking. So, Sidus Masi, and thank you very much.